Hi everyone. So the video I'm about to film, this is this is about to get really intense up in her. Okay. This is going to be the no mirror makeup challenge. I've been watching YouTube for years and years and years and I absolutely love watching these videos. So I'm gonna take the makeup forever step one a skin equalizer. I didn't see it, but I ain't started, so it's all good. And I'm going to find my oh I don't know how much I've put that. Oh god. Lord have mercy. Okay, if, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So hard on looking at big mirror, I don't know, like. So I'm going to take my usual LA Girl Orange Corrector. Oh my god, I'm probably gonna put so much on. I probably should not do this for this video because I cannot see the level to which I blend the orange, so it might not go that well. I might have just an orange face after this. Let me get my sponge. Right. Let's do this. Hopefully it's looking popping already. Right, I'm literally just going to keep blending until my arms fall off because that's the only way that I'm going to get this concealer to work. Obviously because it's so orange I don't want to risk having like, that orange hue from my foundation because that is going to be hot but that would make for an even better video though wouldn't it? The shrimp from Shark Tail is back! Right. Maybe I can feel it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's feeling like it's one level and I can't it doesn't feel bumpy or nothing. Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. On the one hand, you guys know how much I love to talk, so this video is great because I'm just sitting here and talking and doing rubbish makeup. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable foundation and this is in the shade N8 and N9. I'm going to use the Morphe E31, the uh, flat top foundation brush. I'm going to mix the two and we're just going to see if this is any good. I really want to be one of those people I have a really bomb video like I want to like just be amazing. I want to do it and we'd be like, oh my god, you would never tell that you didn't even have a mirror. And I'd be like, <laughs> and I don't know if I'm bending this into my hair right now. So. I don't know if I've got enough coverage. Hey, I think that's done. I didn't want to clean my face. But yeah, okay, feels good. Hey, my brush is, you know, looking cute. So I don't know what my brush looking cute has to do with it because my face could be looking ugly. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm in the shade Dark Neutral. So, let me attempt this. Let's do this. I can kind of like feel. Okay, I can feel, okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm feeling it. Oh, yes. The, I probably should have used this concealer because it's so lightweight, it literally feels like it's not there. So, when I get to the blending part, I'm gonna be like, yes, I've done it, and I'm probably still gonna have concealer through it. Oh my god. Should I even do a nose contour? Should I even do a nose highlight and contour? Like, this didn't go really well. Jesus Christ. Jesus. So, okay, so I'm gonna attempt to blend this out. I'm so scared. <laughs> God. It's gonna like my trick to doing this is just keep blending, like blend every portion for 10 minutes if you have to do that. That's the way that you're gonna know that it's actually popping and it's actually happening. <sighs> should I even do a nose contour? Should I? I've, I've got to do it how I do my regular makeup, so I've just got to just do it. Oh, that's done. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This part... There's no telling what's going to happen here. Okay. I'm going to take a dry new technique sponge. This one's shrunken a little bit. Oh, I'm scared. I feel like it's gone in my eye. Oh my god, I think it's gone in my eye. Ah! I don't know why I'm cleaning my eye. I usually set the powder, I think I set it here. Hopefully that's looking cute. 
I'm gonna attempt a nose contour. I'm really gonna attempt a nose contour. I watched Iris Bailin's video, Iris, her video last night on how I'll be taking contour in two parts. I'm really trying to be conscious of that, you know. I think a part of being on YouTube is like, it's such a growing process. Like, looking at my first video, everybody loved it, but I was like, oh girl, I have way too much powder on my face. And I don't. I'm trying to drag it in. Okay, so let's keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna do a contour right about now with my same Burnet Brown powder from Under the Story. This is my holy grail. And I'll to Kathleen Lights actually for putting me onto this brush, it's revolutionary. I might have a really dramatic contour right now, or there may be nothing there because I don't really feel like I've used anything now. I'm gonna try that again. I think my contour. Couldn't I attempt to clean it up? Okay, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Use this. I don't need to clean up, I don't think there's really anything on there. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, that's done. Moving on to the blush. I'm going to use the H&M Beauty blush. It's called the Pure Radiance Powder blush. Ooh! I don't know, I don't think this has got mirror in it. And it's in the shade Apricot. I'll actually show you that to you guys. Oh, I can see that in my little bit that I haven't got colour. Thank you, Jesus. I want to use my same sun crisp bronzer actually because I've been loving the way this looks. Now this right here could be really interesting. Imagine blush would be quite an easy thing to do, right? Lord knows I don't want no excess in my life. I bet I'm looking crazy! Because I might be crazy! That's a church note for you, that's how they extend the notes in church. Now I'm going to take that blush, apply it to the high points on my cheeks to create a bit more definition. I bet there's no definition in my face whatsoever right now. New so that's done. I'm going to take my City Colour Timeless Beauty Palette, this is what I'm going to put the highlighters in. I, oh, I don't know which one I'm going to take. I'm going to take, I'm going to take this one because it's a nice pinky shade. If all else fails, I really hope my highlights on fleek. I re like, that's what I'm praying for. I don't know if I've even got any. And I'm using a brush from Morphe, so I don't know why I keep just going over it. It's probably still horrendous. Close that. Ooh, this gonna be fun. We're gonna be eyes next. Okay. I'm going to use the HMM Ready Set Glow Palette. This is the palette that I used for the HM video that I didn't actually end up uploading, but I told you guys that I would do the look that I did in that video. So I'm gonna take this brown, shove that in the crease. I think with eyes it can either go left or right. Like I can't. It can either go really good or really bad. I'm thinking if I blend, like, oh my arms are hurting now, maybe I blend a little bit too much. I'm really hoping this is going to act like a magic eraser and just take out anything that is not cute and good. I'm going to take this Morphe M124, this is a flat shader brush, and I'm going to apply this lovely colour. If you can't see, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think you can now. This lovely colour to my lid. Yeah, pop in? No? Yes? So hot. The eyes have to be the hardest, hardest part. It's so hard to know where you're placing everything. Especially when I'm about to do like three colours in like 500 different places. I'm going to go in with the Sigma blending brush. This is the E25. And I'm just going to put this amazing dark purple in my outer crease. Blend, 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 bitches. So I'm going to use my magic eraser again. I don't know why I just painted my lid. <laughs> Hopefully that's popping. Yeah? So I need to prepare my lashes. I'm just going to use my regular Ardell Wispies. And I'm going to use my Eyelore Lash Fix glue for this. 
this bit can really end my life. I wear contacts, like this could just, this could be a game changer. A certain insecurity that comes with filming this kind of video. You feel like everyone already can see what's going on and you can't. The fun, that bit. Fun. I look back at this video, I don't know if I'm gonna cry or laugh. Hopefully laugh. Hopefully not either, because I wanna be like, damn, damn, you did that, you did that. For some reason, I don't think that's gonna happen. So, let's do this. Oh, I know for sure, I just got some on my nose, for sure. I want this to end already, I want this to end. Yeah? <laughs> okay, yeah? And it just dropped, so it's safe to say what I've told good stuff. They're wispy, so let's go. Let's see if you truly are the MVP or not. That was upside down for sure. Should I really be doing this? God, yes. Okay, I don't really <laughs> know what happened, but it's on, so I don't care. This gonna be fun. I feel like this one's quite popping. It's not. I just feel like it's like five inches above my eyelash. Girl, this one's on my lid. Oh my god, I feel like I did a good job. Of. <laughs> uh, this one's so high. Way up. I can just feel that like this one's a little weird already. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. It could be chilling in the right place, but I don't feel like it's chilling in the right place. It's chill. So, I'm gonna go into brows to make this a bit easier for myself. I've actually decided to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil instead of the Anastasia Dip Brow. Because that would go really well. Okay. Oh my god, no. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let me just try and put it in. I know that's bad, I already know. You ain't got to lie, Greg. Yes, girl, eyebrows on fleek. I haven't seen myself, but I know some girls probably got like this. Like, eyebrows on fleek, makeup artist. I charge $100 an hour. Celebrity clients include. Bad. Definition of dirt. I think it's just lips now. I'm so excited, my heart's beating. <laughs> I'm gonna line them with NYX liner. So. Oh, this got good, I can feel. The more I talk, the more I can feel what it is. I wanna keep talking. I feel like Kylie Jenner. I'm gonna look like Kylie Jenner after this. Lips, not the makeup, okay? No tea, no shade. And then I'm going to use the next soft matte lip cream. This is in the shade Abu Dhabi. I think that's it. I'm not even gonna bother setting this. Why would I wanna set this onto my face? I haven't even seen it, I know it's going to be horrendous. My heart's beating. Okay, I'm going to pull the stick off my camera. It's not that bad! Oh my god! No! Girl! I, I did that! Look! One eyelash is up here, one eyelash... No! Girl! Girl! I did that! I'm so proud! <laughs> no! What is the, the, the highlight though? I, I, I thought it was going to be a bit overkill because everybody knows I like an exaggerated highlight and I got the button nose right. No, contours popping too. <laughs> Guys! Make up the Mario or what? Guys, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed filming it. I'm so happy that I didn't like suck. I was really waiting for it to be like really bad. Although my eyes do look a bit bare. But guys, look at this. <laughs> so proud. This is popping. Okay, I wouldn't go out like this though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like that went so much better than I expected. You could probably see the relief on my face when I took the bloody thing off the camera. It could have been bad, it could have been Frankenstein. I mean, it is almost Halloween. This is good, A for effort. I'm, be I'm exaggerating now, just because my makeup is good. Okay. So, 
see you guys in my next video i hope you thoroughly 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 enjoyed it i love filming fun videos like this this is so much fun i want to do this every day not okay see you guys in the next video bye